Hey guys, I'm back. I'm here at the Cross Cancer Institute again. Today, um, I'm going to see my oncologist one more time before my next chemo session, just to make sure that my blood work is good, that I'm cleared to continue treatment, that I'm healthy and strong enough for one more cycle of chemo. Um, yesterday I did a blood work somewhere else, so today we are going to see the results. I also did a CT scan and today my doctor is going to talk to me about the results for the CT scan. And then, um, I'm kind of lost. And then I'm also going to be, no, it should be here. Okay, I found myself. <laughs> Sometimes I get lost here. So. As I was saying, my doctor is gonna see the results of my last CT scan and tell me about how things are looking. And today I also have an MRI to get done. So we'll see how that one goes. I'll be right back to let you know. So today they made me wear the gown for my doctor's appointment and then to go right after to the MRI and here I'm just a bit concerned because I just talked to my oncologist and the news weren't really what I was expecting. Guys, I'm back. I saw my oncologist. Um, I have two oncologists who take care of my case. Uh, so today I saw Dr. Joy and he's not usually the one that I see before chemo. So I found that to be a bit weird. Um, and then I'm not sure if that's the reason why but he wanted to discuss my CT scan result and it doesn't really sound that good to be honest with you you guys remember that not long ago I had posted that maybe I was in metastasis already because they saw something in my liver my abdomen and my bone yeah so this time around the CT scan still saw a lesion uh, in my bone, like in, in my vertebra, but just one, not the other one in the L8. Um, and looks like it has nothing to do with cancer. Also in the exams that I did before, it didn't really show anything like cancer. But the lymph nodes in my abdomen are still a question mark and especially my liver is a big question mark. So today my oncologist told me that he doesn't think I have a liver metastasis at the moment. But for sure I have some issue in the liver that nobody knows what it is about. And, and as for my lymph nodes, pretty much the same situation. He doesn't think that it's necessarily cancer. Also because of what was seen in the other exams, in the previous exams. But it is something and he just doesn't want to take me to the surgery room because he told me that they would have to open up my abdomen in order to be able to really um, biopsy it properly because it's like really tiny and it's fluctuating in my abdomen. It's going to be super, super complicated for them to do a regular biopsy with a needle. I would have to go for surgery. He's trying to avoid that. Uh, but my surgeon, on the other hand, he's 200% sure that this is metastasis already. And, and because of that now, they're not agreeing in, in regards of my, um, my situation right now, my, diag my, my diagnosis. So basically they decided to call um, the other docs to discuss my case on Wednesday. So they're gonna basically put all my information out there for, for everybody to see and think together and get to like a, be a, a better solution to investigate this and to treat this. According to my oncologist, if this is cancer, treatment is chemo, which is what I'm already doing anyways. So I'm technically covered. Uh, this last CT scan showed that the masses are decreasing, including the mass in my liver. So 
this doesn't sound good to me in a way, in a sense, because it's reducing, yay, it's good. But if it's reducing with chemo, then if it's responding to chemo, then there is a high chance it is cancer. So I'm very like, I'm a bit stressed out about this. Um, I'm a bit upset as well. And I don't really know what to expect. I mean, it could be, it could not be, but it's just a bit stressful. And also, um, my doctor did not allow me to get chemo this Saturday because I'm not strong enough. I'm having, I've been having diarrhea every single day. And like, I feel like I'm like a duck, you know, if, if you know what I mean. I'm always in the bathroom all the time. And my doctor was like, can I be honest with you? Can I be really, really honest with you? You look like shit. Like, you don't look good at all. And I'm not going to let you go for another chemo to then get even more diarrhea when you are already not okay. So I'm going to give you a week break. And then I'm also going to request you one more blood test. Let, let's see your magnesium levels. And then, yeah, let's just have a break. And then you do your last chemo. And for the last chemo, I want the other oncologist to prescribe a lower dose of your medication. Because I want to make sure that you are really going to endure this one really, really well. Really, really smoothly before surgery. So, yeah. This was the consultation today. And I'm a bit upset about it. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a bit overwhelmed. Because obviously, if this is stage 4 cancer, it does change a couple of things. Um, you put your whole life into perspective again, over and over. And you start thinking, how much time do I have on earth? Like, what do I need to get done? Uh, because if anything goes wrong and I die, like, is everything going to be in order? Like, I'm not back home, so there are things that I need to take care of for my family so they don't worry about it. You know, like, things like that. So, I wasn't really thinking about this type of stuff until now. I mean, of course, I thought about them, uh, all of them, but in the past. And then I would say that re most recently, I haven't really had this type of thoughts. And they are back now, and they do put me a little bit down. I'm a fighter. I'm going to keep fighting. I'm going to do whatever I got to do to get rid of this stupid disease that I hate so much. But uh, right now, I'm just a bit upset. I'm just a bit worried. Um, I'm questioning myself, like, is there anything I can do? You know, should I do anything about this? Like, I don't know. I guess I'm going to wait until... A bit later today when my doctor is gonna tell me about the blood work result and I'm gonna wait until Wednesday for the doctors to discuss my case and then see what they're gonna come up with and I'll keep you guys updated keep me in your prayers and I'll be back soon